anybody can be on social media and broadcast their lives and thoughts to the world. But whether or not just anyone should be allowed on social media, well, you should decide that for yourselves because I'm counting down the top 10 insane people that need to get off social media right now. Here for you on IO. What is gravy potatoes? This is IO. I'm Charlotte, and I want to know if you know someone that should not be on social media. Maybe you yourself have chosen not to be on social media and you want to share the reasons why. Subscribe for the Spicy's training news updates and top 10 lists on YouTube and follow us on social media. And I promise I won't do any of the stupid shit I'm about to talk about in this list. <laughs> I'm crossing my toes. Coming in hot at number 10, we got too much information. We all have that one relative on social media that shares absolutely everything. Ugh. I have a couple of relatives like this actually. <laughs> but it's posts like this first one that make you never want to agree to your weird uncle's friend requests. The post says, this is why I had to unfollow my uncle, who posted, making a deposit at Taco Bell. Uncle Turd over here uploaded not one, not two, not three, but four pictures of himself pooping using the bathroom at Taco Bell. The face he's making in the last two, like. <laughs> I can't believe we're only at number 10. Here we go, here we go. All right, and then number nine, we got the Amex card owner. This girl was clearly very excited to have a good enough credit score to get an Amex credit card. So excited, in fact, that she took a picture of her credit card and posted it to Instagram. Her post said, officially an Amex card owner, winky face, yay for good credit. And someone responds, do you realize that you just put your credit card number on the internet? Do people have to brag about every little thing that happens? on social media. <laughs> I got a credit card. <laughs> I found a penny. <laughs> cool story, bro. <laughs> I do not care. At number eight on our list, we have the sun in front of the clouds. This next one clearly failed his third grade science class. The sun in front of the clouds? It is impossible for the sun to be 93 million miles away and yet be stuck between the clouds. Things that make you go, hmm? Hashtag NASA, hashtag creation. While I do see how this person could look at a photo like this and think that the sun is rising in between the clouds, because it looks like there's clouds in front and behind the sun, that doesn't mean the sun is actually rising in front of the clouds. I like how this person also thinks they've had this like eureka moment. Ha! NASA, take that! You're not fooling me, NASA. Earth is flat. At number seven, cat can be Muslim. <laughs> I'm not gonna give this one too much of an introduction because I think the post speaks for itself. My mom just bought our cat a Christmas stocking even though we are Muslims and don't even celebrate Christmas. She was like, we don't know what religion he is. We can't force him to be Muslim, he's a cat. Joanne responds with, I was raised Catholic but I have always known that my cat is a Muslim. <laughs> It is undeniable when he faces Mecca and prostrates himself at least five times a day. Susan responds with, no cat is Muslim, cats know who their maker is. Joanne says, my cat is totally a Muslim, his girlfriend even wears a hijab. They are a lovely couple. Susan, of course her name is Susan, she has no idea that she's being trolled hard. She says, cats don't even know what being Muslim is. My cat tells me that Muhammad is real too. Susan, neither do you. Yeah, Susan. <laughs> In at six, I got, I wanna sue my girlfriend. Here's a Facebook post from a guy who thinks that he could still date his girlfriend while he sues her for medical expenses and emotional distress. You must not have been under that much emotional distress. The post says, advice for suing my girlfriend. I'm hoping some legal experts will weigh in on this one. Over the holidays, I was staying at my girlfriend's place, dealing with her family too. Ugh. And I stubbed my toe very badly on an irresponsibly placed stool. I told her that she needed to move the stool or someone will get hurt. Guess what happened today? I just broke two toes on it. I have no other choice but to sue to cover medical expenses and emotional distress. Her family has the money. If possible, I would like to keep this gentle so I can continue to date her. <laughs> how do I do this? You don't do this. I love how he couldn't have just like watched where he was going or shock or moved the stool himself. I would love to see the look on a judge's face hearing this guy's complaint. <laughs> In at five, we got malls are for shopping. This next one comes from a person who's clearly had enough with teens walking around the mall. The audacity, I swear to God. They posted to Facebook, teens shouldn't be allowed to walk in mall groups. The malls are for shopping, etc. Social media these days influences so many negative. Once a group of teens are noticed not buying anything, then they should be escorted out. <laughs> As much as teen mall rats annoy many of us, there is no reason why someone should be forced to buy something in a public place like a mall. There is such a thing as window shopping. Teens go to the mall in packs because they don't really have too many other options of places to hang out. I would much rather teens be hanging out in a mall than getting drunk and high in some parking lot. Huh? Teens have as much right as anybody else to hang out in a mall instead of doing a weed. At number four, we got the joys of Facebook Marketplace. Not sure if you guys have ever had the pleasure, the pleasure of trying to sell anything on Facebook Marketplace, but oh my God, it can be a very terrible experience. 
you pretty much open up your inbox to whoever has Facebook and in case you didn't know, there are some really weird people on Facebook, case in point. Someone was trying to rent out a two bed, one bathroom house and they posted an ad on Facebook Marketplace. Someone responds, good evening, is this available? Yes it is. Next message, please leave me alone, we are sleeping. <laughs> Question mark? No more contacting please, thanks, appreciate it. You contacted me. I know, I no longer interested, please stop contact me now. I will contact the attorney general if you do not stop. <laughs> I highly doubt the attorney general would ever respond to one of your calls about a Facebook marketplace interaction. In at three we got the anti-vaxxer. For the record, it is completely reasonable to not want someone that's vulnerable to disease to be around someone that could get them sick. That's why many children were banned from attending schools unless they were vaccinated. They put other kids at risk. Regardless, this mom took to Facebook to express her anger about the fact that her son was not allowed to attend her brother's wedding. Her post read, super upset. My brother just called me and told me my son can't come to his wedding because he isn't vaccinated. I heard his dumbass girlfriend says her mom has cancer and she doesn't want her to get sick. Literally can't believe that he would say such a thing to me. Looks like they aren't having a flower girl or a ring bear. <laughs> So there's a lot of messed up stuff happening in this post. Not only does this person not care that his dumb ass girlfriend's mom has cancer, but she also doesn't know the difference between a ring bear and a ring bearer. I don't know which is worse to be honest. I hope you get eaten by a ring bear. In that too we got the hetero sapien. <laughs> Today, my son Ethan came home with another homework from his wacko teacher. According to his teacher, we are all supposed to be homo sapiens. Lady, you know nothing about science with a capital S. I tell you what, there are people out there who consider themselves to be hetero sapiens, just like me and billions of people around the world. That lady sure is dumb. <laughs> Just because she's one of them lady boys from Thailand doesn't mean we are all homosexuals. First thing tomorrow, I'm giving that lady a piece of my mind. Does anyone else kind of wish that they were present for that? <laughs> I would love to watch this woman give her son's teacher a piece of her mind about the perils of being hetero sapien. <laughs> Do I really need to explain this one? There is no such thing as hetero sapien. Someone take away this woman's access to Facebook immediately. Dumb people. Idiot. And at number one we have the petty neighbor. This last one is a reddit post that honestly I cannot tell if it's a joke or not. No one can be this insane, right? Right? It says, every day I see my neighbor's bees flying around my garden stealing the pollen or nectar from my flowers. Then the bees go back to my neighbor and create honey. My neighbor then harvests the honey and sells it at the farmer's market for profit. I have never received so much as a jar of honey as compensation and every day my neighbor's bees trespass and steal my flowers. I was stung once when I was a child so I know how dangerous bees can be. The way I see it, this is equivalent to a person's dog coming into my yard to steal balls or tools, then gives it back to his owner who then sells it for profit. Do I have legal ground to sue? What type of things should I begin documenting in order to prepare for a legal battle? What would be a fair settlement amount if my neighbor doesn't want to take this to court? Thanks for the help. Can you imagine if every neighbor thought this way? I'm not sure like what they expect would be a fair way to split the pollen from the flowers. I can like picture him like sitting on his porch and counting how many times a bee from his neighbor's yard trespasses on his trespasses on his flowers. Oh, oh there we go again. There's a bee! I see it! Cheryl! Cheryl, he did it again! The bee is here! All right guys, there you have it. Which of these posts made you face palm the hardest? Let me know in the comments. For now, I'm gonna wrap this one up with some comment features. Toons Kid said, is it just me or does Charlotte seem like our teacher giving us a PowerPoint? You're not wrong. Yes. Queen YC said, you're literally the only YouTuber my boyfriend likes. We crack up at your videos all the time. Also, love you, PS. If you feature my comment, I might actually cry. Pixar, it didn't happen. I wanna see a picture of you crying. Chell said, did I just see you in a Lint Excellence commercial? I swear that was you. It's kind of funny when my commercials pop up before my IO videos. <laughs> yes, it was me. If you guys see it, tag me in it or send me the link. I haven't seen it yet and I want that on my reel. Mm. That is it for me. Thanks for watching. Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want more. I'll see you in a future IO video. Bye. She has no idea that she's, she has no idea that she's being trolled hard. She says, cats don't even know what must, cat, uh, don't do a weed, kids. Just hang out in the mall. I will contact Attorney General. <laughs> sure you will.